Hi, this is Lucy and welcome to a Fallout 76 camp tour video. I was hoping to be able to do another Halloween camp this year. I didn't want to do a spooky house because I did one last year and everyone's doing them. I did try to do something in worlds in a pre-existing location, but I have pretty much given up building in pre-existing locations in 76 worlds because um, cannot place item intersects with an existing object. So I thought I'd do something different and I saw this interesting house on Pinterest that was um, supposed to look like a cutout of a tree. So sort of like it was built in a, a cutout of a tree. Um, it was much bigger than what I was able to realise in 76. But I think I've done a pretty good job and I'm happy with the result. So I will give you a quick tour. This is the camp. It is circular. It is double walled. It has a shed, which is actually the, the main building is 16 sided. The shed is six sided. I built it here at the White Springs. When I first started building this camp, I have built circular camps in the past and I used what is known as the jug circle which is the way that a lot of people tell you to build a circle but no matter how precisely I did it I could not get the resulting blueprint to go down so I thought there has to be a better way of doing a circle I found a youtuber called Brimex I will put a link to his tutorial below um, it is a different way of doing a circle. I did make some slight changes to it. Um, I created a blueprint with a hole in the middle so I could lay a foundation down and then snap the blueprint over the top so I could get the positioning right. The reason for this was, as you can see, I have trees in here. I placed the trees down, flamer trapped them and then snapped the blueprint over the top. I've called this build Hornbeam Hollow and if you're on my Discord <laughs> there's been a lot of lively debate because I couldn't come up with the name. Um, the Discord is going really well, I've got a really good group on there, it's quite busy and chatty um, so feel free to join, there is a link below. This is my nod to Halloween. <laughs> I have my vendor here. I didn't know where to put it, to be honest, so I just stuck it out in the garden. I had originally put my workbenches out here, but decided I had enough budget to uh, build an attached shed. The nice orange glow from these windows actually comes from a lighting trick that I learnt from Nuka Violet. She did the most amazing lighting video recently. I will also put a link to that down below. Um, yeah I was blown away by it so she's obviously an artist um, as soon as someone says color wheel I know they're an artist <laughs> so uh, it looks great at night I will I might stay on long enough to give you a quick night shot As you can tell, Brimex's circle, actually there is a way to stop the floors from glitching, which is the other reason I wanted to use that method, and it has worked perfectly. Obviously, um, building and decorating in a space that doesn't have many straight lines is challenging. I have my kitchen, I've put my hob on. Those are brains in a jar to give you four hobs, burners. Um, if you haven't seen this before, I sh did a tutorial on how to build it in my Bridge End House Building 101 video. This is the dining area. The shed is accessible from here. This was 
technically an accident, but once I attached another foundation to this build, I had to go with it. It was um, a blueprint which the floors all go inwards, but because it snapped here, I had a small gap here which I have actually covered with this mat. Um, I am thinking of doing another hexagonal build. That's something I'm considering. I could not put a double wall on here. Um, even using the door trick, I could not get a double wall on here. So the um, wall is inside out because of the wallpaper. Um, my original blueprint print had a flat roof. I created this sort of fancy star roof using glass pieces. You can see it from there. I did that with the flame of trap on a porta potty, portable toilet. I used the new wallpaper. Um, I quite like it in small doses and I thought it went well in this house because of the tree theme. It's a great place to build. The only problem I do have being on public servers is probably 50% of the time I can't place my camp because there is either a spooky house here or a contemporary house. <laughs> they all look the same after a while. There is an office here. I've put some stuff on shelves. This whole camp is powered by power generating boxes. Trying to pass wires through walls when they're offset like this with the angles does not work. There is another generator in the fridge. <laughs> Obviously, because there are no upper floors, the ladder placement is quite easy and you can take the ladder out if you want to change things. I have a small laundry room. I did miscalculate slightly. This tree is coming through the glass. I have this glass divider. I had to make it full size because you have to put a wall on underneath and you couldn't take it out unless it reached the ceiling. There is a small seating area here and this is the bedroom. I don't normally use this bed because um, it's too small. It's like a child's. It's too short. It's a child's bed. Um, I don't know why they did that. Obviously I carried the wallpaper on up on this wall. There is one piece of glitching roof here, and I don't know why. <laughs> the bathroom. I used my faux shower trick here. Um, the reason these walls are glass is because at certain points you can't get a double wall in because of the angle here. And it's the same here for this I couldn't put a doorway on here. I couldn't put a double wall doorway on here. Um, you can take, well, you have to start downstairs. Um, you can put a wall in with the outside facing this direction, which means you can't wallpaper it. If I could have done it the other way, I might have done like what I did with the shed. Um, but just would not go. I took all of the walls off and I put a double wall in and then you can't get these walls in. It's because of this angle here. So I have built a divider. I did this in the jungle. To get the plants on you have to flame a trap, put the plant on, repair, 
lift the flame trap up by putting it on one of these so you get the height right and rinse and repeat. Overall I'm pretty happy with it. I hate the fact that I have to use roofs as floors but there's no way around it because of the building system. But it is very architecturally interesting I guess and I love building things that interesting shapes so the only slight downside is it faces east I have pondered whether I should have turned it 180 degrees so it faces west to get the sun in the afternoon but I built this twice I wasn't going to build it three times so um yeah, but I'm 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 very happy with it. And it does mean the house is beautifully lit in the afternoon, so it's always a trade-off. And believe it or not, despite the fact that this is all double walled and all of the stuff I have in here, I still have a very small amount of my budget left. <laughs> so, I'll give you a quick tour at night um, and let you see what it looks like in the dark. So it's getting dark and it never gets really, really dark here at the White Springs. I found that out when I built Neddy. Um, not far from here. If you want to know where we are on the map, we are just above the snake. This is what the camp looks like at night. You see the nice sort of orange glow through the windows there. And from the west aspect, So here's the camp. I hope you like it. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. If you want to know what I'm working on, see sneak peeks, chat with me and friends, please feel free to join the Discord. The link is below. That's all from me today. Thank you for watching.